and I'm back. I didn't really say bye because I'm just continuing on forward. That was my alarm. Yeah, I finished a couple seconds first. I feel like I'm gonna regret that, but I can't quite tell why because I feel like that sounded dirty, but it wasn't. And I'm probably overthinking. So, the reason I have all of these cards is actually because of the wand that I'm using. Uh, different wands will have different cards. Come, souls, let's get lost somewhere safer. While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. So that's new. I didn't notice that. So I didn't have it the first time I ever played with Roller One. I meant uh when I made a newer character recently, I didn't notice that. Because you may notice uh in my first video here, uh I had a couple that's different characters. Decide. We'll follow your lead and stop pushing these ghostly things back. Sort of nice that they do things now. They Don't didn't. worry, we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Oh, hey there, I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. I feel like you're alive, but okay. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Pwah! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates give me the heebie-jeebies! <laughs> Excuse me, did I hear you two talking about skeletal pirates? If you're going to face them, please come talk to me first. Oh, so she's actually going to teach you a really good skill that I was going to mention it anyway. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing Ooh, press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know if you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps. You red see floaty orbs, orbs heal you. Blue floaty orbs give you mana. The gold ones give you gold. Ooh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their. I'm glad I overheard you two wizards talk about those pesky skeletal so pirates. At some point, I might just skip through all these, but I. Such a mess. They're sort of new to me, so I don't really want to. If something isn't done, we could be forced to leave the city. Please, will you help us? Olivia is offering you a side quest. Once you accept it, press Q to open your quest log. Quests marked with stars are part of the main story. Side quests are optional, but allow you to gain additional rewards. Good hunting. So she's right, uh, star quests, main quests. Anything else, not. And typically you say no to them. But you actually really want to do side quests, especially in Wizard of one because that's how you get better gear a lot of the times as well as uh, some side quests really should be marked with stars because they'll be the quests that actually go and open up an area <laughs> uh happened in grizzleheim um i don't know if it's been changed to mark with a star or not but at least at the time and i think right now it's not so when you get to grizzleheim you might want to do kind of all the quests side I forgot what area it's in specifically, but it's like skull, and you gotta go do the side quest to open up the skull. If I'm remembering right. Anyway, 
was a part of the main quest. But accepting a lot of the side quests all at once can actually help you do them faster. Because a lot of them are going to be like, hey, can you kill this and this for me? And you can do that as you're doing the main quest a lot of the time if you accept all the side quests at once. And if you want to know more about more quest stuff that are there, click this and it'll find the quests in the world for you. So you go around accepting all the quests first and then you can go do all the quests at once. And I'm about to run past all these skeleton pirates. I am so used to be Oh, I got that probably. You knew. So Yeah. Kinda weird. So Storm, while they're also like the barbarians of the wizarding world, they're also finicky. They fizzle a lot. And young Storm students are like always praying, please don't fizzle. I would literally pray to God that my spell wouldn't fizzle. Which is kinda, I don't know if that counts as cheating or not. But it worked. Parley, parley. Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> no, I kind of like that they keep talking, so, like, when it's just one thing, you can exit, keep walking, and listen. Also, like, how they say parley now. That's, that's cool. Oh, bless you, child. I don't have much to offer in thanks. But please, take this magic ring. Maybe it'll help you in your adventures. To put on new equipped mousing... I'll show you how to do it. Alright, right here. You get equipped. It's just not having your gear. It had nothing to compare it to, but you can also compare it to the gear you're wearing there. But sometimes you're thinking too hard. So it's easier to hit B, because it'll take you right to your backpack go here and look and then I had another ring here I could hold it and it'll show me both of their stats so I can see plus 10 maybe another ring will say plus 10 for mana instead of health because again red is health and right now we don't have any pets so pets can do different things oh wow you made it back I mean uh, how'd it go what did you learn Two things. I should have interacted myself like this. The second, uh, obviously he thought we were gonna die. So anyway, pets could do different things. You get, you can breed pets for specific traits. I have a pet that I breed. He's like a gobbler. I forgot what he is, but he's basically a beach ball with a mouth and limbs. And he gives me a two balance spells. Uh, one is a blade uh, that goes with any spell you cast, and the other one is uh, ca gives you ice, storm, and fire blade, which is great for my storm student. Then he has like every healing spell. He has the may cast, which is great because he'll do a may cast unicorn. Uh, energize, berry, forgot the, what's it called in the pet traits, then he does the sprightly queen, which is, uh, I'll show you when we get that spell, uh, it's a little off, and does slightly different healing, uh, than the spell we get, it's the same idea, and then he gets, uh, Pet rescue. It heals you for a percentage of your health. 
So he has all five of those. I love that pet. However, I don't always have that pet equipped. I have him mostly equipped on my Storm Student. But I don't always because the higher level you get, different bosses will get things called cheats. And some bosses get cheats that deal with healing. And uh, I was in this dungeon and there was this guy who had this type of cheat and I, I hadn't gone through this dungeon yet before. And he started beating us up real bad, me and my, my group that I was with. The guy was like, alright, we have to actually fight this guy again. No healing pets this time. Like, we got by this last time. I'm like, we got by? So, I had to change it out for a different pet. Some pets will cast damage spells. There's not very many of those. Or blades and stuff. Or it could be buffs so you hit harder. The pirates warned but about a you got different in things. The darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. So I know who they're talking about, but I won't say anything What yet. is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. There is a not ancient to, uh, being who may be able spoil. to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph Lady Ariel. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the Warden of the Fairies, and they keep her well informed. So, a question. I've only ever heard the word Warden before Wizard 101 in terms of, like, a prison warden. So, like, I know she's in charge. It probably has to do something more along the wide lines of the word ward like warden and then your wards maybe but I just can't help but think if there's fairies or like in concentration camps sort of because of warden because I'm thinking prison camps and prison perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of unicorn way yeah so this hat's already better than the hat we have, because technically, we don't have anything equipped. So we're going to equip it. And it's already different than our outfit. Oh no. Anyway. So that bugs you, I would suggest early on doing a green or whatever school you're, you're a part of coloring. So your outfit sort of stays together better, I guess, longer. Because this early, you don't want to keep going to the, the shop and keep coloring your outfit. That's just going to cost you gold. And there's no real point to it because you're going to keep changing your outfits. Like I promise, you don't want to do it yet. Like my, my 101 guy now. <laughs> 101 is 101. Anyway. Uh, I've, I'm not like keeping his gear for longer because it's hard to find better gear the higher you level up. And he's sort of at the point that now I'm sort of making sure his gear sort of all goes together color wise. And like matches and stuff. Halt! What purpose brings you into our hedge maze? Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. I think her voice has changed. I can't say for sure, but I think the voice I have for her has changed. It's totally possible. I think they had a smaller group when they first started Wizard 101. The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Some of you probably know fairies bone cages as they're walking have past. appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious Ooh, dark an magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages, then bring me fairy dust 
from those it corrupted, it may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust, return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. So some of the wording stuff they changed, because I remember she was at that. Concerning of how we got the fairy dust. I'm sure she's supposed to technically not want the fairies dead, but it sort of seemed like years ago she didn't care one way or the other. So I was like, I'm gonna go kill fairies. I remember that. I remember that. That's sort of how I took it. Probably not how it's meant to be taken. That's definitely how I took it. Goodness, how am I not a serial killer? Young me was so creepy. So notice, Dark Bear's technically life. I swear these guys used to be death. I know they changed some of the schools on some of these mobs. Early mobs anyway. And I can't remember one way or the other. But. I know they did because I used to be on Triton Avenue for a long time. They have crowns, and then I got my British crowns so anyway. So, I know some change there. I forgot to mute the mic. Okay, sorry you guys had to hear me chew. But I have a headset that I have to use else you guys would hear like the AC that knows no chill. The AC in the RV is like I'm either on or I'm not. So it goes like full blast and it's kinda loud. Plus the ray that kinda goes on and off right now. Yeah, as he knows, uh, spells that you know, uh, which are green in this case, to me a little different from the spells you get from wands and stuff. Like, notice the power is a little different. Also, there's a countdown, so you only get so much time on red, it means that like, hurry up, go zero, you don't get to do anything, you get skipped. That takes one pip to heal, that's pretty cool. I don't think you can learn that spell actually. And you are able to go and learn other school spells. The mistake I made when I was younger. Because I went, I'm like, oh, I'm Storm. I'm also going to go and focus oh, in this school. My bones. But now that terrible cloud has been lifted. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, what works best is you have a bunch of different spells that you want from each school. And you're like, oh, since I'm this school, I'm going to go and learn this and this and this. Just sort of pick and choose and learn enough from each school so you can go do other stuff and then save all your pips when you get higher level. You hear a tiny joyful voice call your name. So, I might finish this real quick. Um... Uh, because there are better spells, like higher level. Uh, there are schools called Moon, Sun, and Star. Technically also Shadow. That you're able to spend training your pips for. But we'll get to training pips in a bit. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your too long. courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. 
chest up there. Na 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 na. So chests and stuff will actually sort of level up depending on the areas you're in. They give you more stuff. Typically always you gold. You cemented Sometimes your reputation items, as like a hero to the very items, folk, young wizard. Regions. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is Get together. That, but how? Voice. The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic banished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? Rattle bones. In light, rattle bones. a ruthless tyrant who was banished to the, the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. Siren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way. Perhaps he can help. You must hurry. Here, take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much. You've received a temporary to equip. Okay. I'm gonna equip this real quick. So equip a temporary mount, boom, you hit equip. But each one has like a list of how long they last and like different mounts will actually do different speeds so you can have like a mount that goes 40 percent faster to 50 also like shout out to the music real quick guys this music is a lot better than it used to be like for real can't see it but my head's been bobbing for a while so yeah and there's different types of mounts you get mounts from here and you can also get mounts from uh different places like you get them from boss battles and stuff very quickly pick up his quest because more side quests said better I Orion down the street a while ago and he's not back yet with all these lost souls about I fear the worst Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of the- Hello! You were gone for so long, I was beginning to worry you'd run off and joined a skeletal pirate crew. But what did Lady Oriel have to say? Oriel thinks an underworld tyrant named Rattlebones is behind all this? Wicked. Let me think. He's in a tower ringed in bones. Well, the skeletal pirates do seem to be concentrated around the old archives. Try looking there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Alright, so choose what quest you want to do. You just sort of click it. So I have quest finder on. I get lost easy, even in real life. Some quests you can't use the quest finder. Get but back on Dead Fiend! Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one. Connolly sent you to check up on me? I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. <laughs> I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories Lady Black Hope, the Wailing Widow. Widow? I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Black Hope Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. So this is gonna be our first boss battle. And I'm actually not too worried about it, I don't think. She's pretty easy to kill. So some boss battles you have to go fight by yourself and others will have little glowing things here. Uh, you'll see it, I think Rattlebone has one. If not, we'll probably come across one eventually pretty soon. You say Unless you team up. Guards are scared of me? Well, 
They should be. Everyone should be. Okay. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. You want me to stop haunting this street? <laughs> ah, let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me. So yeah, side quests actually also help you be strong enough to fight the main quest bosses. Because typically those ones tend to be stronger because again they're the main quest. I think this battle will take too much time. I think anyway. Yeah. No, we're gonna. So this one. Forgetting I don't have my big AoE spells right now. It's like mentally like I should be killing this person already. They should be dead. But I'm I'm just a baby right now. Just a baby wizard. No, they actually get the bus and stuff right now, this early in the game. Oh. Yeah, so she did it. But they do normally take more damage, I promise. They probably do that because it's all just a. Uh, Everybody has the same deck right now. But when you come back higher level, she's still like the same stats and everything, so it's easier to kill her, so you don't have to worry. Well, she's hanging on with five health. I'm gonna heal. I haven't seen this spell before. near the end of like the tutorial of Wizard 101. As we come across things, I'll explain it again. And I'll probably explain it or talk about it a bit. And after that, we'll just be sort of doing quests. I suppose you have enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. Nice. So let's finish this quest up. So this quest is called Saving Private Orion. And I really like Wizard One Way because they make little play on words like that. It's like Saving Private Orion, which is a pretty good movie. Uh, but yeah, they have a bunch of those if you know what you're looking for. You defeated Lady Black Hope? Thanks, Wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. Yeah, sure. I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. Alright. Now that quest is done, and now to finish it, we go over to the guy. We're gonna cut through here.
and boop, you popped up here. It used to be over on that side, actually. I see you found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits, and he was too frightened to come back. Well, well, see, what had happened was... Yeah, you used to have this banner, it's actually well, pretty fun. it's not the first time, and I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. Alright, so we're gonna end things here. Alright. Bye guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode, and if not, that's okay. Uh, but for those of you who stick around, welcome to Wizard 101. Silver Rose out.